in the hangar, <laughs> which it was twice in its short but sweet career. That's the hangar that you see behind me, that's hangar. That's what's left of the Hindenburg at the top of the photograph. This is Nick, and he's the man who saw the Hindenburg on May 6, 1937. And Mom says, come on, Nick, let's go see the Hindenburg. I said, yeah, sure, Mom. I'm thinking to myself, what's a Hindenburg? Waiting for the Hindenburg, whatever it was. And you got to remember, at least 7 million people saw the Hindenburg that day. Covering all the metropolitan New York, New Jersey, up and down the coast of New Jersey. And over Staten Island is this dot. It's a big deal. We see the dot. Well, it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And there I got to see the Hindenburg. And uh, the observation deck windows were open, and the people were sitting there, and they were waving that right to the ground. I'm a nice guy. I waved back. Yeah. And of course, then there was the roar of the diesel engines, the big diesel engines, the heavy drone. And finally, it passed overhead and disappeared out of sight five and a half, I had to go to bed. 7.30, but allowed to stay up. And I got in bed, and then the siren started. And my father says, that's a police car. That's an ambulance. That's, an ambulance. that's a fire truck. That's an ambulance. That's a police car. My mother and father heard over the radio that the Hindenburg had crashed in, in Lakehurst.